I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Tuesday, Senator Catherine Cortez Masto spoke about legislation to protect the right of abortion seekers to travel across state lines for care. This bill comes after the Supreme Court's recent ruling to overturn Roe v. Wade. Cortez Masto decried states that are passing anti-choice legislation to criminalize women and doctors. The senator said, quote, they're anti-women, they're anti-business, and quite honestly, they are unconstitutional. Here's more from the Nevada Democrat. The right have been working to eliminate the right to choose, and they are succeeding. My colleagues and I are here today uh, because we've been working to protect reproductive health care for women in our states and across the nation. As we feared it would, the Supreme Court in June overruled Roe versus Wade, depriving women of a fundamental constitutional right that they've had for 50 years. Access to abortion immediately became illegal in states across the nation. Right now, in at least 18 states, abortion is either banned or will be within 30 days. Three more will likely do the same in the coming months, and in others, abortion is under a threat. Uh, but opponents of reproductive care aren't stopping there. They're already drafting legislation to ban women from traveling to get critical health care. These women are coming to states like Nevada where the right to access an abortion is currently protected by state statute thanks to a 1990 referendum. But in states like Missouri and in Texas, legislators are working on bills to target those who help women travel seeking reproductive care, including businesses that offer to fund travel for employees in need of care. Uh, and let me just say, in my state, as I was home talking to our health care providers, it has had a chilling effect on our health care providers as well, who are concerned that these other states that are passing these anti-choice uh, uh, legislation and criminalizing doctors and criminalizing women will reach across party uh, state lines and go after the very doctors in my state who legally uh, are, are there providing these essential services. So these proposals that we see across uh, the states now where they are going after and criminalizing women and doctors and businesses, they're clearly, they're anti-women, they're anti-business, and quite honestly, they are unconstitutional. They are creating uncertainty for patients, insurers, and employers across the country. American women shouldn't have to wait for the courts to affirm that they have the right to travel for life-saving medical care. That's why we've introduced the bill today to make it crystal clear that states cannot and must not prosecute women who travel across state lines for reproductive care. Our legislation also protects health care providers and anyone who helps women travel for the care they need and deserve from businesses to taxi drivers to those who answer reproductive care hotlines. The freedom to choose is too important for us to let any anti-choice extremists dictate what health care women receive in this country. So we will keep fighting for reproductive rights for women in Nevada and across the country. And I thank my colleagues for joining me. Senator Murray.